What do you mean, he looks a bit older? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? But on the other hand, you're probably right. It's been approaching two years since I did one of these um, wine videos um, talking about Spanish wines, but I'm back in the groove and I'm ready to rock. And I'm going to rock today with my blue tractor, Mi Tractor Azul, uh, which is one of the two wines made under a project called Tractor Azul by Spanish palate. Nicola Thornton is the co-founder of a company which operates in Spain. I've uh, written about their wines before. I've always been delighted to taste the wines they make themselves and also the wines that they distribute for other makers uh, um, throughout the whole of Spain. They're lovely wines. This particular project is there because they want to promote really fruit driven wines, but these wines are made from older vines, 20 to 40 years old, uh, the sort of vines which are going to be used to make oak age wines, uh, crianzas, reservas, even gran reservas, but this of course doesn't have any oak at all. The idea is to just promote the forward fruit in this particular wine. It comes from Dio Toro. Dio Toro is very interesting, talking about the age of vines. It has some of the officially recognised oldest vines in the whole world. Well, these are 20 to 40 years, as I've just said, so that's getting on a bit. But we're talking here fruit first. It's a lovely wine. If it comes from Dio Toro, you'd expect it to be made with the local grape variety, and indeed it is. It's called Tinta de Toro, otherwise known as... Tempranillo, yes, Tempranillo planted here, but it seems to have developed some slightly different characteristics than the Tempranillo, Tempranillo we know from, for example, Rioja. This particular wine, um, I've tasted it before, you can see that um, it's not exactly in scale. I've got the glass behind from which I've been tasting. I've got the bottle in front of me and um, it all looks a bit odd to me. But nevertheless, let's talk about the wine. There's an absolutely lovely, easily distinguished black cherry nose to this wine. There are violets as well on the nose and a little bit of licorice. If you actually put the wine, as I'm sure you will, on your palate and taste it, you'll find black cherry. You'll also find some brambly fruit in there, maybe blackberry as well. There's a little touch of earthiness, but we're not really looking for that. We're looking for fruit first with the tractor, I thought. I think they do a pretty good job. Why don't you look out for this one? I like it. I'm sure you will do too. 